All right, hey guys, my name is Virus, and welcome back to the channel. This is the M36 GMC. It is a 5.7 American tank destroyer equipped with the 90 millimeter M3 cannon that the T25 gets, and we'll get into that in a little bit uh, later as to why I think this is an inferior first spawn. And oh boy, is this gun ever good! Uh, if you play the T25, it's essentially the same gun. And uh, it definitely does work if you can <laughs> pen people with that APCBC shell it gets. Um, but we'll get into those stats in a bit. But yeah, the M36. So what can you expect? Well, I guess we should start off with the gun, right? T33 shot. It's armor-piercing. 165 millimeters of pen at 10 meters. Doesn't have any explosive fillers, so you're not going to one-shot reliably. But you still can. There's quite a bit of spalling, I won't lie. Uh, next up, we've got the M82 shot, which is the APCBC, aka the round that you're going to be maining, because not only does it have more pen than the solid shot round, it has explosive filler as well. This thing can one-shot most of the time. Sometimes you get unlucky if there's, like, an armored panel inside of the tank that blocks some, uh, shrapnel or whatever, but most of the time you are one-shotting your targets, especially from the side. But you do suffer in one aspect, and that is penning the Tiger 2H in event of a full up tier. If you get a full up tier and you see a Tiger 2H, there's practically nothing you can do from the front to that thing. Because uh, the armor is 185 millimeters on the turret cheeks, and the hole is, you're just not going to pen it. So you have to either get around to the side or bring some APCR. Believe it or not, I do actually bring APCR in this tank simply for the Tiger 2Hs because you cannot pen the Tiger 2H without this round. Now this round has a very high pen, it's APCR, of course it does, 264 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters, and uh, this will make quick work of the Tiger 2Hs turret mantlet, but it's APCR so it doesn't really spall much, so you have to make sure that you're aiming at that gunner or the breach or whatever you're trying to hit when you fire the shell, otherwise you're not going to do very much. It's not very forgiving, if you will. But overall, this gun is very, very good. Now, here's why I don't think this tank is a good first spawn vehicle when the match first starts. And that basically comes down to the fact that the T25 exists. If the T25 didn't exist at 5.7, this, this tank destroyer would be very, very good. But because the T25 exists and it has that short stabilizer, where uh, if you're at a slow enough speed, you actually have a stabilizer that activates and allows you to snap shots very, very quick. Uh, because you don't have that on the M36, you are at a severe disadvantage when starting out. So if you have this in your lineup, there's literally no reason to use the M36. Now, the main problem I have with this vehicle's armor is that it's thin enough that it won't block any shells, but it's thick enough that it'll fuse the shells that do penetrate. So when you're playing the M18 Hellcat, right, you've got like, what is it, 12.7 millimeters of armor? So that is not anywhere near enough to fuse a lot of the bigger uh, shells that you will be fighting. Of course, that, you know, you can still detonate a shell inside of an M18 if you hit the right places. But overall, most of the shells are going to just pass straight through and not do anything. Whereas this thing has enough armor that it will actually fuse those shells and then they'll explode inside and... It's just a bad time for the crew, right? <laughs> but the side armor is actually a different story. I've had shots go through the side armor when facing this thing, and they don't fuse. They just pass straight through, take out a couple of turret crew with it, but don't detonate, and it just passes right through and doesn't do anything. So, I mean, it's almost worth it to show your side to enemy vehicles if you know you're going to get penned. I, I don't know. This might be a tactic you could use. That's pretty much everything I want to go over before we hop into the gameplay. Like I said, if you uh, aren't already, follow my Twitch and join my Discord for updates on uh, when I'm going to stream and stuff like that. But without further ado, enjoy. So I'm pretty excited today, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I may have ordered a HOTAS for DCS as well as Track IR. So you know your boy had to buy the F-16 and the F-18 as well. So <laughs> look forward to either streams or just straight up videos on DCS in the future. Because I really want to learn that game. It looks like it's so much fun. And uh, honestly, if it's able to be streamed, if I can stream that game, then it'll be perfect because you guys can form up on me. or We can do some multiplayer like formations and stuff like that. Especially in the F-16. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get into the flight sim area. I guess you could say genre, if you will. Uh, plus the... The Hotas would probably help with sim planes if I ever 
decide to play that for some reason. But yeah, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know there might actually be DCS streams in the future, as well as uh, War Thunder streams. If you're wondering why I don't stream very often, like I have a, I have a link to my Twitch in the description, but I don't stream very often, if at all. And basically that just comes down to the fact that my upload speed isn't very good. I guess is the best way to say it. Like it's good, but to upload a video for YouTube takes about four hours and then that's four hours of me not being able to do anything because if you upload, it just tanks your performance in any other game. Like I get 300 ping and teleport all over the place. And so streaming isn't much better right now, but in my location, there is now the fiber internet with uh, the, I think it's like one gig or something like that, which is nice. Hopefully that ups the uh, actual upload speed that I'll be getting as well. I'll be looking into it. It doesn't really matter, but yeah, it'll be interesting. We got a guy right in front of us. But I really want to start streaming. Like I say it all the time. I, I love streaming, but I just can't. Back up, back up, back up, back up, you slow dang. Oh. Oh. Oh, that killed him. No way. Don't you ever tell me that the American 90mm is garbage. I can hear somebody on the other side of this building, uh... He's gonna be going in front of us? Elevate, elevate, elevate. Okay, where's this guy? Yeah, I think he's going around that way. That's not what you want. Oh, I thought we had the gun depression. I am so glad that I was able to get that. Can we get this guy as well? I got stuck here yesterday. Please do not get stuck here. No, there's a waffle trigger in the back too. That would have been so good. Why'd you have to be there? Cool spot, but also why? That's not a kill steal, right? Oh, there's no way we're hitting this shot. Yeah. I, I, even I don't have faith in myself to hit that. But, <laughs> there, uh, yeah, there's... Hope that guy's paying attention. Oh, there's another kill steal? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Actually, he almost looks like he's on... Oh. Oh dear. I don't know who's immobilizing those guys, but they're probably very mad at me right now. What are we shooting at? Oh, I see him popping up here. Hold on. Almost looks like a tiger. Tiger panther. It's a tiger. I sincerely doubt our abilities to pen this guy for sure. That was a terrible time to shoot. Please! Please. Yes. Oh, I'm so lucky. Is he not going to move? 
Interesting. Come on. Boom. No problem. Wasn't even worried. Didn't even freak out there. <laughs> totally composed the entire time. Yeah, what what's popping with this tiger over here? Oh, he's... Wait, that was a panther that died. I didn't see if the tiger 2H died. Or 2P. I think it was a 2P. Oh, he's behind the tree. We can't see him. Um... Yeah, and he popped smoke again. Sweet. I'm worried about that AA to our left that was just firing off. Hope I don't get shot from my right. Man, every time, I swear, I just shoot people that have been shot. And I feel kind of bad. I need to take more uh, APCBC, I think. I didn't even notice that guy back there. Oh, poor shot. I tried. This ain't it, chief. We're in trouble. There's practically no way we're penning this guy. Try to go for his barrel. Oh, now we're firing APCR too. Yeah. I shouldn't have pushed up. I don't know why I take so many APCR rounds and like no APCBC, but honestly at this point we're going to be one shot most of the time anyways, so not taking it is kind of dumb, so I will make sure to bring some next round. Oh, we only got hits on that Ostwind. That's not what you want to see. Okay, here we go. Half a wing versus AAs. Oh! Oh, I only hit him. That's unfortunate. I think we set him on fire. Not him, the other guy. Damn, that sucks. Someone spotted this guy, come on! I tried. Oh! Yep. There we go. We're up here now. No, we're not up here anymore. Jesus, this thing's sliding around. Who would have thought that snow would be slippery? Okay. We got something over here as well. Yes, no, maybe, perhaps. Jesus. Why is everybody trying to hurt me? I don't know what he's doing. I really don't.
I'm just waiting for his buddy that was on C to pop, pop out. There he is. Okay. Now let's find this panther. Okay. Oh, there's a Porsche tiger. I really needed that to pen. Okay. Okay. I really needed that part to pen. What is he doing? Hold on, I might be able to dunk on this guy. Now we have APCR loaded, so the chances of us actually doing anything to this guy are slim to none. Oh. Oh. Thanks to you two. But I got him. At least I got an assist, it's whatever. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the M36. If you did, leave a like on it. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Guys, I really appreciate all the support you've been showing me the past few weeks. I know I uploaded uh, videos that weren't necessarily worth under, and so I just want to say thank you for those who uh, watched it and were interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, all your support on the videos that aren't worth under really do mean a lot to me. And if you haven't checked those videos out and they're games that interest you, feel free to check them out. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.